Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Late Show. I am your host, Stephen Colbert, and thank you. It's a very exciting day because today, in our nation's capital, Washington D.C., they held their final presidential primary. We made it! We made it through the beginning of the election. There's five more months. Now, this was probably the last chance to see Bernie Sanders' name on a presidential ballot, and he is going out standing on principle and refusing to pander. The major point that I will be making to the citizens of the District of Columbia is that I am strongly in favor of D.C. statehood. Yes. Of course, D.C. statehood doesn't seem likely, but doesn't seem likely is Sanders' campaign slogan. <laughs> so, possible. So just in case Washington, D.C. does gain statehood, I would like to offer right now some suggestions for their new state symbols. Obviously, their license plates will need a state nickname. I suggest the field trip state. <laughs> of course, D.C. will need a state flag. How about D.C. giving the middle finger to Puerto Rico? <laughs> and of course, Washington State Seal will be an embarrassed Redskins fan defending the team's name to a Native American. <laughs> Anyone, anyone here a millennial, by the way? Anyone here yeah. a millennial? Yeah. Yeah. Millennial. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you have the strength to raise your arm because, <laughs> according to a new study, millennials are losing their grip strength. This is true. Apparently, in 1985, men in their 20s had an average right-handed grip of 121 pounds. Today, men that age had grips of only 101 pounds. If only there were a way for young men to improve their grip strength, <laughs> some easily portable tool within reach, <laughs> they could just grab and hold. They just work, just work all day. <laughs> the study claims the loss in grip strength is because 30 years ago, young people were working with their hands instead of using technology like smartphones. Mm -hmm. It's true. In my day, we crushed our candy by hand. And this is terrible, because without good grip, millennials won't have a firm handshake. We could look at a future without a proud tradition of douchebags who crush your hand when they meet you for the first time. Oh, uh-huh. You're Brenda's ex-boyfriend? Pleasure to meet you, my man. You're shorter than you looked on Facebook. Do you even lift? I want you to know, I strained my arm just now pretending to shake someone's hand. 